my name is Dr. Scott Stein. I'm a family practice physician here at Good Samaritan Hospital in Vincennes, Indiana. Uh, I've been here in Vincennes for about 19 years, and during that period of time, uh, my practice, uh, what I do at the hospital and, and how I practice medicine has changed a lot. Uh, the practice of medicine hasn't necessarily changed, but how you get it accomplished has probably uh, changed more than anything else. Uh, how we take care of patients in the hospital, our strategies for taking care of them, uh, electronic medical records, uh, a lot of those things have been uh, changes over the course of the past decade or so that I've dealt with and tried to help some of the other physicians in our uh, network deal with as well. Um, those uh, challenges basically apply mostly to how we administer our care to our patients. We all went to med school, we all know how to take care of patients, but the challenge is frequently getting them the care that they need, getting them the medicines that they need, uh, the financial and social aspects of trying to administer that care has been one of the biggest challenges I've found once I've gotten out of uh, medical school and into medical practice. So one of the big changes that we had over the course of the past several years was we implemented a new electronic medical record system uh, here at Good Samaritan Hospital. Uh, we initially had an electronic medical record system uh, that we started out with and then changed over to the EPIC system of electronic health record in 2015-2016. One of the challenges with that is we have young physicians, we have older physicians, we have people that are technology savvy and people who are not, people who embrace technology and people who want to stamp it into the ground. And so uh, going through that transitional period was interesting. Now we did it in the outpatient world first and then we transitioned that over into the inpatient world afterwards. Uh, the challenges associated with that were uh, the system is excellent, uh, the way that it is set up is good, but learning how to utilize it properly and also learning how to uh, help people understand it better and get the most out of it has probably been the biggest challenge. I get asked a lot of times by some of the employees in our office, our nurses, our uh, staff, our uh, secretaries at the front desk, about all the changes that are going on. Uh, Adam Thacker, our Chief Operating Officer, uh, last year started a process where we do town hall meetings. Uh, and that's been great because it really provokes people to think about what all the changes are and ask questions about what all the changes are. And many of them have asked me why we're doing all of these things. And uh, uh, Rob McLennan, our uh, CEO, has said many times that if you're not growing and you're not changing, then you're just dying. And so I think that helps people to understand the process that if we're not looking into things that we can do better with, that we're not going to do well and we can't do better for our patients and we can't provide better care and we can't compete with the surrounding organizations that, uh, that we have in our uh, local communities. So it's been helpful to, to uh, educate them on why we are constantly talking about change and not be worried about it. Uh, one of the questions that came up in our town hall meeting today was with all of the automation that's coming on with my chart, with the electronic health record, if their jobs were in any way going to be threatened by that change. And the fact of the matter is it doesn't. Um, we will always need our uh, front office and our secretaries uh, working with our patients because they are the face of what we do. Uh, they're the first contact that all of our patients have in, uh, in our business of medicine. And uh, they're probably one of the key factors that helps keep patients happy, keeps them coming in, uh, takes care of them during some of their more difficult times. And so um, the, the change of uh, electronic health records and uh, my chart and all those types of things doesn't do anything to take away from the personal aspect of how they help us care for our patients. So although that change can be kind of scary to people uh, in terms of how that might threaten their employment or their jobs in the future, what we hope that's going to do is really just enhance uh, what we're able to do as far as delivering that care because they're always still going to be the first face of medicine.